Do you guys want your servers looking like this? Me personally, I don't. This guy is just shooting that van for no reason. Or do you want it to look something like this? Nice roleplay, nice driving, nice pretty much everything. Well organized, pretty nice servers, pretty populated servers as well. The question of what server shall I play in, John? What are some good whitelisted servers? What are some good public servers that I can play? Due to my like age requirement or roleplay skill level and honestly i never really had a true answer for anybody so in this video we're going to be using melanie and personal knowledge to see what servers are good and what servers i don't recommend that do have a lot of members we're going to try to stick up in the 8000 plus range just because those usually are the best types of servers we're going to go through whitelisted servers unwhitelisted servers and servers that are in the united states just for anybody who isn't in the united states and wants a good role-playing experience let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of some of these servers if you've ever played on them because i'd like to know because one i am using melanie to help me and two i'm also using my personal knowledge so i can give you some opinions on what servers i've played but let's get straight into it we're going to get some of the biggest servers out of the way just because I do recommend a lot of these big servers. One of the big servers is Greater Toronto Roleplay. Now, if you want to join Greater Toronto Roleplay, it is a Canadian server. Um, it does have whitelisted and public sessions as well as departments and many opportunities for you guys. It is, however, the largest ERLC roleplay community, so maybe things aren't too good there. I'm not sure, though. I have played Greater Toronto Public Servers, and I do give it a 5 out of 5 stars, just personally. Some of the best reviews consist of, it's the best server out there if you have not tried the server out. Best server, extremely realistic, though there is STS every few minutes. W server, the best VC only server. Here is a 1 star saying, bad server, some people are DMing which is probably just in his experience. It's about a month old, so maybe, obviously, there's going to be some RDM. Other than that, though, there's loads of five and four stars, so I definitely recommend checking the server out. The next server we have is Open World Roleplay, obviously created by OMB Gaming. I'm not going to go too far into it, but Open World Roleplay does have 10,000 plus members. It is rated a 4.3 stars out of almost 200 reviews. And from what I've heard, it is actually a really strict and cool server. I don't know how many issues there are, to be honest with you, but it is one of the whitelisted servers I do recommend, just from personal experience of people telling me that they love the server some of the reviews consist of the whitelist server is absolutely amazing i've played a few times the queue is long but i don't know how the queue is long if it's a whitelist server so maybe this some of the reviews might honestly be the public server that used to be open and now it is not i do see a bunch of one and two stars reviews um hopefully that is all resolved now um a lot of them are coming from two three five months ago you know i don't think that it's too bad but there are definitely five stars that do outrun all these negative votes the next one we have is los angeles roleplay community now from personal experience i have joined the server before and i have to say it is very very good they do have whitelisted sessions i'm pretty sure or at least whitelisted departments as well as a public server session so you can join any time and roleplay i guess on any team i'm not really sure but I do know this is a great server. Checking out their website, it actually looks pretty cool. They have a bunch of like cool videos, cool things on it, and at least they even have a website. That to me is a really cool aspect of certain roleplay servers, just like this one. It is rated a 4.4 stars, obviously out of 5, out of 419 reviews. So that's quite a lot of reviews. So it, that's pretty good that it stayed at 4.4. Very pro best server this guy's been playing on the server for a while it's so nice and good to try moving on to some of the negative reviews just because i do want to be trans more a little bit more transparent on obviously um trying to say these are the best roleplay servers so these are some of the negative reviews moderation teams such as i'm not going to say the name don't have the ad adequate skills that fulfill and complete the hard responsibilities of a staff member so you can tell this guy might be a little bit professional so, I mean, he did give it a two star, so I don't think his experience was entirely ruined. Pro for real, pro server, 
enjoyable experience, just overall bad experience with DCT. So I guess that is probably a department. I'm not sure. He did say it was pretty a pretty enjoyable experience while giving it two stars. So I guess that's pretty good. So the next one, probably one of my favorites in terms of public sessions is Salt Lake City Roleplay. Now you see me wearing a SWAT uniform. This is actually the Salt Lake City SWAT uniform. It's actually the SWAT uniform I used when I was actually playing in a public session for fun. There are many opportunities and many departments within the server, so you guys just gotta go check it out for yourself. Salt Lake City has about 10,000 plus people, and they're also rated at 4.8 stars out of about 60. From personal, personal experience of playing both the whitelisted server, yes, they have a whitelisted server in case anybody's interested. The whitelisted server still needs a bit of work. It is still being actively improved on, but if you are one of those people who do want to help it improve, I'd recommend you guys join the whitelisted server. It's a great opportunity, and I think the role play is only going to get better from there. As far as the public server goes, I've had nothing but a good experience. Obviously, they're could be a bunch of rdm it could be a bunch of um people who are fail role playing but from personal experience i've always been able to role play at least i've always been able to do scenes without getting interrupted yes i have been rdm'd a few times yes people do fail role play but that's a part of a public server but i do think if you do want some role play scenes you can definitely get some out of this server no doubt about that Another cool roleplay server that I did find on Melody is President Roleplay. And from personal experience, because I've actually played in this server a few times, I think. Um, no recording, nothing, just publicly. And I do have to say, it has really some really good President scenes. With a whopping 4.5 stars out of 40 reviews. As you can see from these pictures below, there are some pretty good roleplay scenes, obviously. You can't go wrong with a President Roleplay. Obviously, you have limos, undercovers... Um, you do have to have good staff though, so um, me personally, when I joined this server, a president roleplay was already going on. The server, the staff members were doing the best they could. Um, a lot of people were fail roleplaying and trying to become uh, secret service, which is obviously an issue. But the server has grown and I do think it does have a lot of potential. If you do like president roleplays, I would suggest checking it out. As far as the reviews go, um, everything is from about in a two month span because obviously this server is on a rapid growth rate a lot of people say best server amazing the majority of the staff team is insane this guy's a junior moderator he loves it but then you also got the people who say horrible staff horrible everything this guy gave it a two stars um he said the role play is fine which is good Half of the server's police are seven-year-old cuff rushers, which you, you probably can't go wrong with that because at the end of the day, it is a public server. Every server is going to have those. So overall, if you do like President role plays, I honestly would recommend checking that one out just to have, you know, a unique role playing experience, you know, set apart from the others. If you're looking to go the very, very, very professional route, very professional whitelisted route, I'd recommend going the simulations RP route. Simulations RP is a whitelisted server owned by the moderators and developers of ERLC. I think all, I think Sean and Lost, maybe Mr. Fergie are all in there as well, but I know Lost and Sean do join sessions. What makes the server so great is they have everything a normal whitelisted server has, but even better. I think this is probably one of the best whitelisted servers that honestly you can play for, obviously because it's owned by primarily PRC mods and PRC admins, and no, everybody's going to listen to them, or just face getting banned from the server. Despite it being owned by primarily admins and mods, I do think it is still a good role-playing experience. They have seven fully operational departments and over 100 law enforcement members. So you can get law enforcement members active. They have 50 firefighters and EMTs. I don't know when this was updated, though I do think this is very recent. They use Sonoran CAD, Sonoran Radio, Sonoran CMS, and TeamSpeak. With the reviews being highly, highly rated, OMB saying highly realistic role-playing server, deleted user, W server, Great server, brilliant staff. Somebody said mid. Yeah, I, there's no defending that one. Unprofessional staff team takes ages to ban trollers. Other reviews are fake. Honestly, I'm going to have to go against this one. I highly doubt it takes ages to ban a troller. Yeah, there probably is trollers, but it is a really hard server to get into, so I don't know how much of that is true. ERC actually uploads 
all of simulations rp not all but a lot of simulations rp's role plays called on patrol or live on patrol as you can see you see enchanted pretty much patrolling in simulations rp the rp looks great there doesn't seem to be any fail role play as you can see they're using the construction side vehicles body cams everything everything looks pretty good so if you are looking for a good whitelist server i do recommend this one next up we've got a dutch slash english roleplay server called the hag roleplay i believe that's how you say it being rated at a whopping 4.2 stars which isn't the highest i've seen but i did hear that the server is pretty good also i stumbled upon it on melanie and i do from the looks of it it actually looks pretty nice from the reviews aspect there is a lot of one and two stars of people i guess speaking a different language so i can't really translate those but once again, the five star reviews and four star reviews do really ease out the one and two stars. Nonetheless, people are still rating this server very low and very high. So I guess there are mixed opinions. So if you do end up checking out the Hag roleplay, be sure to let me know down below. I think it's a pretty good one, especially if you're Dutch or you just like foreign roleplay servers. Next up on this list is new york state role play honestly i think it's a really good server from personal experience i've had some great role play a lot a lot of frp though um i wouldn't say it's bad necessarily i do think that staff do have it under control most days and honestly if you're looking for a great role play experience definitely this is one of the servers you do want to check out they do host sessions i believe daily pretty nice community can get a bit toxic but other than that, I do think it's a really good roleplay server. That's if you're going to join the Discord aspect. If you just want to join, play, and relax, I will leave, obviously, all the codes and stuff in the description. They also do have a whitelist server. So if you're looking for some nice New York State whitelisted roleplay, make sure you join this server. Well, I don't want to say make sure you join the server. Join the server at your own discretion. But I do think the whitelist server is probably going to be pretty good once that thing gets filled up. It was only released today, so... Hopefully, I wish the best for all their future to come. At the end of the day, guys, everything is opinion-based. I did, however, put some of the best roleplay servers, honestly, overall from the PRC community on this list. There are a lot of servers that are really good, so obviously you can check some servers out by just obviously probably... You can even go on Melanie, see what servers are available to you what servers stand out to you what servers appeal to you but the ones on my list are personally like opinion based and just you know things i've heard from other people um previous experience from playing their servers at the end of the day it is about what you do like and these are some of the servers i like you guys don't have to agree with me these are just opinions and i do obviously get asked the question what are the best roleplay servers a lot so i am glad if i do help some of you out if this video helped you out make sure to drop a like and subscribe all of the server codes will be in the description either it'll either be their discords their codes or their websites if they have one so hopefully you guys can all check them out without any issues if you have any servers you guys recommend let me know down below Hopefully this video did help you out, and I'll see you all in the next video.